Hello and welcome to another video. This is Mohamed Bakri from Community of Babel. Today we are going to discuss the object pronouns. Object pronouns is a subject that's not uh, difficult at all. It's actually an attachment that is connected to the verb. So let's start with an example. Here we used the verb sa'ala. Sa'ala means to ask. He asked. So sa'alani, it means he asked me. So if you're talking about yourself, someone asked you or someone asks you or someone uh, does something to you, so you're not the subject, so we will add me, we will add noon and yeah to the end of uh, the verb. Of course, if this verb doesn't need a preposition, this is very important because there are some verbs that need a preposition like uh, the verb قال قال it means to say okay قال لي it's uh, the verb يقول or قال it's to say is uh, has to uh, has to have a preposition لي يقول لي أو قال لي he said to me or he says to me but سأل asked doesn't need a preposition so it's here سألني the second one is ك ك we use it to say uh, you, okay, but for the masculine, if I'm talking about a guy, okay, سألaka, he asked you, but this is if you're talking to a guy. So if you're talking to a girl, it will be ki. It's it's written the same, but the short vowel here, here we used fatha, but here it's kasra. So سألaki, سألaki, he asked you, this is feminine, of course, and singular. Okay. Of course, in this group, we are discussing uh, the singular group only. Uh, but of course, we will continue uh, with the dual and with uh, the plural. Here, it's who, who, it means him. <clears throat> so, it's actually, this is a singular masculine. Okay, سأله. He asked him. He asked him. So here is the verb. Here is the verb. And here is the verb. Same here. Okay. So we just add different attachment. Here he asked him. He asked her. He asked her. This is singular. Feminine, it will be ha. This is ha. Sa'alaha. 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 Okay. The second group is the dual group, and it's kuma. It's you if you're talking to two persons. So sa'alakuma, he asked you if you're talking to two persons. And doesn't matter if these two persons are guys or girls. It doesn't matter. So here, <clears throat> huma. So sa'alahuma. Sa'alahuma. He asked them. But here we are talking about two persons only, not plural. He asked them dual. Okay, two persons. Sa'alahuma. Sa'alakuma. Sa'alahuma. The last group is the plural group. Okay, and it's. Na, na, sa'alana, sa'alana, he asked us, so it means for us, okay, he asked us, sa'alana, okay, if you're talking to a group of guys or a group of, uh, uh, a group containing at least one guy, so sa'alakum, it's kum, kum, and here there is dhamma, here, kum, sa'alakum, the next one is sa'ala kunna, it's kunna. Kunna is for a plural, a group of women or girls. It will be sa'ala kunna, he asked you. Sa'ala hum, it's here, hum. Hum is plural masculine, okay? A group containing at least one guy. So here, them, it's hum. Sa'ala hum, he asked them. Sa'ala hum. And he asked them also, but if 
this is a group of only women or uh, girls it's not difficult and uh, they look like attached pronouns and in other video uh, we are talking about uh, attached pronouns it's almost the same but object pronouns of course used with verbs and it's an, as in English and other languages an object pronouns so they don't do the action someone does the action to them so these are uh, the attached pronouns uh, so I hope this video has been useful to you and thank you for watching and see you in other videos thank you